Hello friends at home. In this video, I will be doing today's religion test with you. I'm here in the classroom with all of your face-to-face -face friends. They're being very, very quiet because we know we don't, <laughs> we don't talk during a test. So, at the top of this page, the first thing I do is always the same. Take out my pencil, write down my name. Make sure you write your name nicely. Boys and girls, remember, part of a level zero volume is not just your voices. It's the noises that your body and your materials are making as well. If you're banging your chair on the ground or tapping your pencil, or if you're flapping your pages or rocking your chair, all of those noises are distracting. So when we say we're quiet during a test, we try to keep our whole bodies quiet, not just our voices, but everything we're doing should be quiet. Okay. Johnny, that chair is way too noisy. Imagine you were playing hide and seek. Are you going to be rocking your chair like that? All right. So at the top of this page, underneath our name, it says Christmas. This is the test on everything we've been learning about Christmas this week. Now, I know friends at home... Mrs. Hetkoff has been doing a lot of the videos because I had some half days this week to be home with baby Grayson, but I know that we've learned a lot about Christmas. So I'm pretty sure this should be a pretty easy test for us all. So it says draw a line to connect the parts of each sentence. So I will read the first part of the sentence and then I will read the second parts and we will try to make complete sentences, okay? So the first sentence here says, an angel told the shepherds. So I'm going to put a circle around this dot. An angel told the shepherds. And now I'm going to read you four choices. You're going to put a circle around the best choice, okay? Did an angel tell the shepherds, silent night? Did an angel tell the shepherds, the family of Jesus? Did an angel tell the shepherds that the Savior had been born? Or did an angel tell the shepherds, honors God's love for all families. Choose the one that you think the angel told the shepherds, put a circle around it, and then connect your circles. Did the angel tell the shepherds silent night, the family of Jesus, that the Savior had been born, or honors God's love for all families? All right, number two says, the gospel at Christmas Mass, and I'm going to put a square around that one, so you can put a square around that one. The gospel at Christmas Mass. Oh, I see I don't have the last one on here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does the gospel at Christmas, I kind of just gave you the answer. Does the gospel at Christmas Mass, Silent Night. The gospel at Christmas Mass, the family of Jesus. The gospel at Christmas Mass that the Savior had been born. The Gospel at Christmas Mass honors God's love for all families, or the Gospel at Christmas Mass tells the story of Jesus' birth. Only one of those sounds like it makes sense to me. So draw a square around the one that makes the most sense and connect your squares. All right, looking at number three, a song about Jesus' birth. I'm going to put a triangle around that one. And we're looking for which one of these is a song about Jesus' birth. Silent night. Oh, the family of Jesus, that the Savior had been born, honors God's love for all families, or tells the story of Jesus' birth. Which one of these is a song about Jesus' birth? Silent night. Oh, geez. The family of Jesus, the Savior had been born, honors God's love for families, or tells the story of Jesus' birth. Number four. The holy family is, I'm going to put a rhombus or a diamond around this one. The holy family is, silent night. What? The holy family is the family of Jesus. The Holy Family is that the Savior had been born. The Holy Family is honors God's love for all families. Or the Holy Family is the story of Jesus' birth.
And number five, I'm going to put an X on. So you should put an X on the answer over here and then connect it. Number five should be a gimme because it should be the last one you have left. It says the feast of the Holy Family, Silent Night. The feast of the Holy Family, the family of Jesus. The feast of the Holy Family that the Savior had been born. Guys, quiet please. The feast of the Holy Family honors God's love for all families. Or the feast of the Holy Family tells the story of Jesus' birth. Put an X on your answer and connect them. When you are finished connecting all of your answers on this side to all of the beginning of the sentences on this side, down in the box at the bottom, it says, draw or write about a way that your family can be like the Holy Family. Okay, we know Jesus, Mary, Joseph, that's our Holy Family. How can your family be like the Holy Family? So do a nice picture for me. Don't just do this and turn it in because I'm not going to give you credit for that. I need to see a picture that tells me or shows me how your family can be like the Holy Family. And when you're done drawing that picture, and you can color it and add details, on the back of this page, there is a maze. You're trying to get the three wise men to the nativity. So try to solve the maze, and then you can color the pictures. And when you're all done, kids at home, take a picture of both sides and upload it. And kids here in the classroom, you will turn it in to me. See you later, boys and girls.